to coffee day. I'm so tired. Oh my god, it's like every single time it's like signals to him when my camera goes on that he is to go drink water. So we're just gonna wait. We're gonna wait. I was saying it's a two coffee day. I am very tired at a market yesterday and it was, it was actually a lot of fun. Of course, now that I've decided I'm not gonna do markets anymore after the holiday season, or I'm gonna be incredibly selective. I had a lot of fun. I was also like sandwiched in between two friends. And so I, we just talked and had fun all day. Which isn't usually the case. Today, I just have a lot of stuff to get done. This is a really, really busy, busy week. It is also an immunotherapy week. That pretty much takes a full day on Wednesday. I have to be there at nine for blood work. Then I meet my doctor at 10. Then I think immunotherapy is at like 10.30. And although I'm really only there for about an hour, I just, I never know what is gonna happen afterwards. So I have to come straight home and usually I'm pretty tired just from all of the baker out of the toilet bed. Oh my gosh, stop drinking out of the toilet. You have water right there. Were you trying to do it so you weren't noisy? You're such a smart puppy. Yes, you are. You're such a smart puppy. Yeah, so Wednesday is pretty much accounted for. I can probably do little things when I get home in the afternoon around here. I am also watching my nieces a lot this week. So I only have Tuesday to work in my, my shop. But I pulled out of a market that I was going to do next weekend. And I have only one day where I have plans. I'm going to go hang out with my best friend all day, which is long overdue. So I'm really excited about that. I have my normal. Monday, Thursday, nannying days. Yeah, so I have a long list of to-dos today, but most of it is just kind of around the house. I, I do have a little bit of work I have to go out in the garage and do, debating on whether or not I want to go to a yoga class. Having like horrible joint pain, which is a big side effect of immunotherapy. I just read in one of my immunotherapy Facebook groups that Claritin should help, which makes sense because Claritin helped during chemo too, which Joint pain. So I think I'm gonna go get more cleared in, get back on that. I just took some Tylenol, but I really don't want to have to take Tylenol every single day. This pain is like arthritic a lot in my right knee, and um, it's like affecting my ability to walk. Anyways, hot yoga is helping with that, so I might go to a class, but I don't know. I don't want to have to be somewhere at a specific time today, so I might not. Yeah, today I'm just going to be ticking off all my to-do list, which looks a little something like this. I need to finish the border in my bedroom. I wanna start cleaning out that closet again and getting pictures hung. I didn't do my newsletter this week because I just, I didn't have the bandwidth for it, which is a bummer because I'm trying to be really consistent about it. I need to brainstorm some more emails for my new newsletter, which is specifically focused around all of the cancer resources I'm creating. I am pretty excited about the beginning. I don't know the word I'm looking for, but I guess I think I sold like 10 or 11 of the ebooks and then had, you know, quite a few people do the free option too. But I need to take that off my website because it's October 1st. So that's done and it's only a paid version. But the thing about the paid version is $1 of all of those sales will be donated every quarter. Well, like one dollar from each book. So it's just dependent on how many books I sell. Um, that'll be donated at the end of each quarter to a new cancer specific foundation. And this quarter it's the Pal Dresher Foundation. And then on top of that, anytime I add more content, you will just automatically get a copy of the new book. I need to send out a survey to kind of gauge people's feelings around the price of it and the content so I can make those adjustments. And then I just downloaded mint.com to really focus more on my finances and organize that. Well, that day didn't work out the way I thought it was going to. Around 12.30, uh, laid down for a 20 minute nap and woke up almost two and a half hours later. So, uh, yeah, 
didn't get done the things I thought I was gonna get done, but it's okay because I feel like I might be coming down with something. So I'm making some dinner now. It's about five. I'm gonna have an early dinner, take my computer in my room and work on computer stuff for the rest of the day. And just accept that some days don't go the way that you had planned. Yeah. Working on my bedroom has, in a way, been very therapeutic for me. Creating a space that feels cozy, warm, and inviting is something that is very important to me. I spend a lot of time curled up in my bed resting or working these days, and I want a space that allows me to do so. I had a completely different plan originally, but as I started working on it, I realized I wanted to go in a different direction, knowing that I can always change it down the road. That is the thing I love most about designing and decorating my home. It's about me and what brings me joy. I personally think that too many people decorate their homes for other people and not for themselves and what makes them feel the most comfortable in their space. I am by no means an expert at this, just a gal who slowly built the confidence to share her love of design and decorating and DIY over the years. I still have several things I wanna add before I do a bigger reveal, but for now, I'm pretty content with what I've got going on. As always, thanks for being here, and if you feel compelled, hit the subscribe button and follow along. I appreciate you, and I'll see you next time.